everyone, the Axe is back, and today we are continuing the Firefly journey with episode 13. It really saddens me to say this, but I think we're getting very close to the end of the series, so how is it all going to clip hang? Well, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get right into it. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel and you want to see all my future reaction videos, click on the subscribe button down below and help grow the channel. Also, if you want to see all my behind the scenes stuff, check me out on Instagram. Alright, so let's get on with the show as X Spotlight's Firefly, episode 13. Oh, that can't be good news. Get inside. Yeah, that isn't good news. Go. Land speeder looks like Joss Whedon stole a little bit from Star Wars. We ain't open for business. Shut up, whore. And you, we don't trade with at all, Rance Burgess. You're no longer welcome in this establishment. You. I'm here for what's mine. Ain't nothing here belongs to you. You don't get gone, we'll be well within our rights to drop you. The rights you've got are the ones I give you. Another companion? Find the girl. She ain't here. The girl left this moon more than a month ago. It was you chased her off. <laughs> it's a good thing you haven't left with my baby. <gasps> this baby ain't yours. So you keep... What the hell? <laughs> if this DNA is a match <laughs> with mine, no. I will be back for my baby. And if I have to, I'll... Oh my god. That guy's ruthless. Do it too. He'll do what he says. No, he won't. We won't allow it. We'll get help, that's how. Help? There's not a soul on this moon go up against Rance Burgess. She's right. Ain't nobody strong enough. Even if there was. Who'd help up? That's why he came to the ranch, because of that. You know, not altogether wise. Sneaking up on a fellow when he's handling his weapon. Sure, I've heard that said. But perhaps the dining area is... Oh, because he'll shoot it, of course. Every well-bred petty crook knows that the small concealable weapons always go to the far left of the place setting. <laughs> she always had to correct him. Folks asking for help from us petty crooks. Well... Maybe I should take that right away. Well, it's for her. At the calls for Anara. I'll take it in my shuttle. Oh, that was a brothel. I didn't think about that. Wouldn't happen to be taking place in someone's pants, would it? Here we go. Take my love. Take my land. Take me where I cannot stand. You can't take the sky from me. Take me out to the black. Tell them I ain't coming back. And boil the sea. You can't take the sky from me. There's no place I can be since I found serenity. But you can't take the sky from me. I can't guarantee they'll handle it particularly well, but... If they've got guns and brains at all. They've got guns. Payment won't be a problem. The house would tell you not to come. I know they ordered you to shun me when I left. The house can get hot to bid you, sir. I would have waved you long ago. So she was shunned? Who'd have thought we'd both end up all the way out here? <sighs> Who'd have thought? Zufani, Mimi. I knew. So she got outcasted, but why? Friend sounds like she's in a peck of trouble. She is. And there's no authority on that moon she can go to. Some men might take advantage of that. And she's looking for someone to come along and explain things to them? That's essentially it, yes. A whole house full of companions. They're not companions. They're whores. Oh, wow. Thought you didn't much care for that word. It applies. They're not registered with the guild. They're... Independent? Yes. Oh, that's why they have their names. I've put a little aside. You can keep your money. We'll be needing no payment. I'll contact Nandy at once. But you will be paid. I feel it's important that we keep ours strictly a business arrangement. You know, that's the first time I ever think I've ever seen him reject a payment. I don't much see the benefit in getting involved in strangers' troubles without an upfront price negotiated. These people need assistance. The benefit wouldn't necessarily be for you. As has been stated, this job is strictly speculative. Good. Don't know these folks. Don't much care to. They're whores. I'm in. Wash plot, of course. Of course. That's the whorehouse. How come it looks like a frozen dinner pack? Solar sheeting. Cheap power. Oh, that's what that is. Those are prettier than the house. Jane never stops to amuse me with his big mouth. 
Mandy, this is Malcolm Reynolds. I appreciate your coming. Well, any friend of Inara's is a strictly business-like relationship of mine. Can I start getting sexed already? Well, that one's kind of horrific. Just of you, there's food and some liquor at the sideboard. Make yourselves at home. Boy whores. I wonder if they service girl folk at all. Isn't there a pregnant woman I'm to examine? Anyone else is lining up to, you know, examine me? My John Thomas is about to pop off and fly around the room. There's so much tasty in here. <laughs> Poetical about your peck. <laughs> This is Petaline. She's feeling a mite weak right now. We might have a prayer meeting. We ain't had one in months, except what Emma here reads out on Sundays. The last shepherd to come by was springtime, and he only read the one passage. And he took it out in trade off both of us. Oh, wow. Watch, tell me I'm pretty. Were I unwed, I would take you in a manly fashion. Because I'm pretty? Because you're pretty. She always was. You think the kid is his? I think it's Petaline's. But the blood test. Well, he did favor Petaline pretty exclusively, but she had others. His barren prairie shrew can't bear him an heir, so he takes it into his head to pull it at us. Rance Burgess has money enough to build a city, a real community. Keeps people living like this so he can play cowboy, be the one with the best toys. Someone stands up to him, he means to burn me out. Yeah, he sounds like a fun guy. This won't be solved with talk. Well, I'm gonna fight a man who helps to size him up. Well, he'll be at the theater tonight, that's a certainty. Anara, think you can stoop to being on my own? Will you wash it first? Hmm. Wow, so this guy's basically just running the city in the ground. It seems as though he uses his wealth. Typical rich, you know, suppress oppressing these people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to know there's some places left in the verse where old fashioned values still mean it. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Reynolds. And might I just say, she is quite a beauty. Handle one of these, Mr. Reynolds? Silk trigger, active return bolt laser. Yeah. Won't find technology like that short of alliance. Didn't think weapons such as this were generally legal. For a private owner, I mean. My husband makes a distinction between legality and morality, Mr. Reynolds. Bending one unjust law is a small thing when it comes to protecting one's family. You said you wanted to look him in the eye. You've done that. The plan is we get back to Serenity and we get off this rock just as fast as we can. He thinks this whole job is pointless. He doesn't care at all. And there could be no mistake. Rance? The DNA matches. <gasps> The child is mine. Oh my God, it was his. We run. Our weapon stores aren't exactly overpowering at the moment, and I don't much like... <laughs> Won't stop till he gets what he thinks is his. So we run. You have your people to think of, same as me. And this ain't your fight. I don't believe you do understand, Nandy. I said, we run. We, my people, your people, and whatever bits of precious you got in this house you can't bear to part with. We load up Serenity, and we leave Burgess in the dust. Oh, that's what he meant. Captain Reynolds, it took me years to cut this piece of territory out of other men's hands. To build this business up from nothing. It's who I am, and it's my home. I'm not going anywhere. Kill every last one of them. Rance Burgess is just a man, and I won't let any man take what's mine. Wow. Am I kind of stupid? Hell, he ain't expecting much of a fight. Might be we catch him with his drawers low. But I figure, three-point watch, say four-hour shift, just to be on the safe side. Oh, round the clock so everyone else can sleep, of course. I'm fair-handed with a hammer, Captain been following the footsteps of a carpenter for some time now. I think I can do something about our fortifications. We start shooting. He'll most like try to burn us out, save us sweating bullets. Nandy, what's the water supply like here? Underground well. Pump that draws it up is antiquated, but it don't break down. Kaylee, think you could swing an upgrade for their waterworks? I'll talk to Serenity, see what she's got we might use. Good. We might want to scrounge up. Starting. On the enemy's side. Don't you tan? Oh, the pregnancy, of course. I got this one, Captain. Thanks. Boy, Nandy is really standing her ground. That woman knows what knows how to put up a fight. We've been discussing what we'd like said over us if we should happen to fall. I only bury the dead, child. No one here is gonna die. Oh, because they're afraid. When the time comes, most important thing, keep your wits about you. Clear? And these are my favorites. You're to keep them coming till there ain't no more to be had. You hand me the next biggest one and so on. Is there an understanding here? Yes. Let's get to work. Just the way she smiled before she started making out with him using those guns. Well, I'm not sure now is the best time to bring a tiny little helpless person into our lives. I don't give a good go around about relevant wash or objective. And I ain't so afraid of losing something that I ain't gonna try to have it. You and I would make one beautiful baby and I wanna meet that child one day. Oh, she's thinking about starting a family with him. Truth is, I expected a whole lot more of you to be taking payment in our trade. Well, we're not a conglomeration preacher. Married fella, the doctor, well, he'd have to start fetching little pieces. Any of them work? Oh, don't got many rounds for the chaplain there. This is my favorite. No. Oh. Violence and crimes, I had to say. What about you? Similar. When are you planning to avail yourself of some of our trade? My girls is clean and kind-spirited. Well, I got the, the job on my mind. After, I'm sure I'll trade. They're a fine bunch. 
You ain't looked at one of them as long or loving as you looked at those pistols. You're not sly, are you? Because I got my boys. Sly? <laughs> no. I lean toward women, folk. Just never like complications. I know who he's thinking about. She's a hell of a woman, ain't she? Anara. Yeah, she's a cherry blossom. Did she ever tell you why she left Sanon? Oh, that's the planet she's from. I was gone long before. She was special. There's 40 women in House Madrasa, and you'd pick her out in a second. I've been House Priestess for years' time. Had her eyes on it, too. She's like you more than a little. And how exactly is that? She hates complications. They do crop up, though, don't they? Such is life. An aura I know reciprocates his feelings, but... I know it. Uh, can you get the green vial from my bag? How many babies have you actually delivered? This would be the first. My first, too. Mine, too. It's gonna be a long night. Who do you think is in there? You know, sometimes in pregnancies, they had to do a C-section. The dulcimer drove you out of Sino. What, did you kill a dulcimer in a terrible passion? Actually, yes. Uh, and now that dulcimer's family is out to get even. I get it. Oof. What's a dulcimer? Some Baroque piece, and the instructor keeps saying, you're playing it, not feeling it. The fifth time he said it, I took the damn thing and smashed it into kindling. And that's when it occurred to me that a companion's life might just be a little too constricting. That's why she went independent. Trucked out to the border, learned to say ain't. Found this place. Run by a pig who had half the girls strung out on drops. There's no guild out here. They let the men run the houses and they don't ask for references. We didn't get along. Oh. Wow. Let's just say he ain't playing the dulcimer anymore either. Looks like she ran him out. You are a remarkable woman. You don't mind my saying. Well, as long as it's you saying it and not my fine rice wine. Well, oh, it takes more than a few drinks to render my judgment blurry. Am I getting any prettier? By the minute. You know, I should check the barricades, make sure everyone's ready. Everyone's ready. asleep. Miss Nandy, I have a confession to make. Maybe I should get the shepherd. You expect to accomplish something sinful then, do you? If I'm overstepping my bounds, you let me know. So, Malcolm, I've been waiting for you to kiss me since I showed you my guns. <laughs> you okay with this? Uh-oh. I'm just waiting to see if I pass out. Long story. I want you to bed me. I ain't her. Only people in this room are you and me. How long has it been since your last confession? Longer than I care to say. You gonna remember where everything goes? Well, let's just say I plan to take it real slow. This great man got a name? Reynolds. Malcolm Reynolds. How many has he got with him? Just a few. And only two real fighters besides himself. But they got the girls stirring for a battle. I certainly wasn't expecting a battle. <laughs> Seems the Heart of Gold's got itself a few mercenaries. I guess we best call the whole thing off. Earned yourself quite a bag of silver, little kid. Now, Shari here, she understands a whore's place, don't she? But Nandy and those others, they spit on our town. They've no respect for the sanctity of fatherhood. Decency or family, they have my child held hostage to their decadent ways, and that- Oh, you lying SOB. Let us all remember right here and now what a woman is to a man. Oh my God. Get on your knees. You son of a bitch. Oh my God, he's disgusting. And of course he's abusive. Oh boy. Um. Well. I I just had to. Oh, she knows. Yeah, you know, I was up. I got a. I think in. So you took to bed with Nandy. I'm glad. She's a dear friend and probably in need of some comfort about now. One of the virtues of not being puritanical about sex, is not feeling embarrassed afterwards. You should look into it. Well, I just didn't want you thinking that I was taking advantage of your friend. She's well worth taking advantage of. I sincerely hope you did. So you're okay. I wouldn't say I'm entirely okay. I'm a little appalled at her taste. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> God, just the way Anara acted, she felt so hurt. She knows deep down inside she loves him. She just doesn't she they love they know deep down inside they're in love with each other, but a little funny to you at breakfast this morning. Kaylee, we all know I'm the fun one. It's a great pile of panic. Oh, no, girl, that is just plain 
dirty. Jane, you are aware you're <laughs> <laughs> Step aside and let it happen. <laughs> How is she doing? Inara, I thought it was just him that... Andy, believe me, I'll be fine. No, you won't. I'm up there. You're gonna goes. give me the whole truth now about her feelings for you. I really don't know. Wow! Looks like we got some imminent violence. Just a cold shoulder Anara gave her. Zoe, Jay, you seeing this? Got to be thirty men out there. Confirm that. Plus a mounted gun on that hovercraft. Anybody here goes down, you drag them to the back and get back to shooting. The only way to help them is to finish this. Nara's gotta be wondering, yeah, where's that smiling when you're working with me? Look, my sky a little less empty. Copy that, Mel. Uh -oh. oh, shit! Spur up, Kojin! I do believe that's our first hurdle. Oh! Nice shot. Oh, wait a minute. That was the girl from last night. Oh, she was the spy. That's right. Duh. That's it, Penley. One more push. That's just too good. Trap him. Nobody's going. What in the world? It's, it's a boy. Healthy. Oh, shit. Morning, Petaline. How's my boy? <laughs> Evil smile he's got on. on. I got what I came here for. I ain't leaving here with it. This is my blood, woman. No. This is your blood. Now you hand that child over nice and slow. Or I'll spill more than you can spare. Oh! He killed Nandy. Malcolm is pissed. Oh, it's become personal. He's going to take on Burgess on his own. Pay for what you took. He was just a whore. <laughs> Petaline! You bring my baby out right now! I want to see my son! The way they round up his men. Rance, this is Jonah. Jonah? Say hi to your dad. <laughs> say goodbye to your daddy, Jonah. Go on. Go on home. You go with them. Oh, because she was a spy, a traitor. That's right. Nice. Amazing. Nandy was still a person regardless. Like me once was lost, but now M fell, was blind, but now. She taught them well. I'm glad you were with her. Yeah, I wish I never met her. And I wouldn't have failed her. Well, I'm still glad. I ain't looking for anything from you. I'm just, uh, just feeling kind of truthsome right now. Life's just too damn short for ifs and maybes. The family she made, the strength of her love for them, it's what kept them together. 
and you live with that kind of strength, you get tied to it. You can't break away, and you never want to. There's something I should have done a long while ago. And I'm sorry for both of us that it took me this long. I'm leaving. Because of everything that happened. That's all right, guys, and that's a wrap on Firefly episode 13. I really needed some time to really think about this episode. And obviously, we got more background information on Inara and some of the friends she was with. We also, of course, obviously, Burgess was a very sick character. He had a spy within in his court in his crew to help him find out about the baby. It's obvious that Inara and Mal's relationship is probably never going to happen. And the way she was crying afterwards, I start to think the reason why she left was because of Serenity. She ex or wants to leave. It's probably pretty obvious that she did not want to be reminded of Mal. And I really thought Firefly could not get any more depressing than that. And we'll see you on the next video. And until then, the spotlights are off. Bye, everyone.